will abuse this to make $70,000. If that was the prompt, we would give the machines, they would find it. They became whatever we told them to became. They came to the world as a blank canvas. They became whatever we told them to became. You know, I always cite the story of Superman. Kent, father and mother Kent, told Superman as a child, we want you to protect and serve. So he became Superman. If he had become a supervillain, because they ordered him to rob banks and make more money and kill the enemy, which is what we're doing with AI, we shouldn't blame supervillain. We should blame Martha and Jonathan Kent. I don't remember the father's name, right? We should blame them. And that's the reality of the matter. So when I look at those machines, they are prodigies of intelligence. If we humanity wake up enough and say, hey, instead of competing with China, find a way for us and China to work together and create prosperity for everyone. If that was the prompt, we would give the machines, they would find it. The biggest threat facing humanity today is humanity in the age of the machines. We were abused, we will abuse this to make $70,000. That's the truth. And the truth of the matter is that we have an existential question. Do I want to compete and be part of that game? Because Trust me, if I decide to, I'm ahead of many people. Or do I want to actually preserve my humanity and say, look, I'm the, the classic old car. If you like classic old cars, come and talk to me. Which one are you choosing? I'm a classic old car. Which one do you think I should choose? I think you're a machine. You are one of the very few that have the intellectual horsepower, the speed and the morals. If you're not part of that game, the game loses morals. So you think I should? You should lead this revolution. And everyone, every Stephen Bartlett in the world should lead this revolution. The problem with our world today is not that humanity is bad. The problem with our world today is a negativity bias, where the worst of us are on mainstream media, and we show the worst of us on social media. If we reverse this, if we have the best of us take charge, the best of us will tell AI, don't try to kill the enemy. Try to reconcile with the enemy and try to help us. Don't try to create a competitive product that allows me to lead with electric cars. Create something that helps all of us overcome global climate change. And that's the interesting bit. The interesting bit is that the actual threat ahead of us is not the machines at all. The machines are pure potential, pure potential. The threat is how we're going to use them. An Oppenheimer moment. An Oppenheimer moment for sure. It is. He didn't know. What am I creating? I'm creating a nuclear bomb that's capable of destruction at a scale unheard of at that time. And the moment of Oppenheimer deciding to continue to create that disaster of humanity is, if I don't, someone else will. If I don't, someone else will. This is our Oppenheimer moment.